Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about one more problem from lead code. The problem name is valid palindrome. And this problem is the same from the top interview coding playlist I've been working on from lead code. So go check it out. The link will be in the description of this video. Okay. So the problem goes like this, that you're given a phrase and you have to just check that whether the phrase is palindrome. So whatever phrase you have, so a phrase is called palindrome. If after converting all the uppercase into lowercase, and removing all the non alpha numeric characters. So alpha numeric, so alpha means like the characters and the numeric. So that should be remaining, but all the alpha numeric like space dot hashes, like everything, any special characters that should be removed out. So if removing out all of them and keeping the, like making the, like the uppercase to lowercase, whatever string you got, if that particular string is palindrome by palindrome, I mean that if you read from left to right or right to left, like it should read the same. So if whatever string you have, whether it is a palindrome or not, by doing this operation, you just have to tell that. So what you can do here is like, we can actually move on to the code part, nothing much complicated. You can first iterate over whatever string you have and convert it to the string they actually want to check to be a palindrome. For checking out, you just have to iterate over the string. If the character that you are, so let's say you, you just have this particular string. Okay, you move from left to right. If the character you want is small, you just directly append that character to a new string that you are forming. Okay, whatever character you are, just append that. If the character is of like uppercase, you just convert it to smaller case. Okay, and if the character you are on is alpha, like like numeric type, zero to nine, you will just append that particular character as well. And if it is of any other type, we will just have don't like any condition for that because like either it should be an alphabet from upper or lower type and upper or lower case, or it should be a like a numeric value. So then only you will append that particular character inside the new string that you are forming. Now you have the new string. You just have to check that whether the new string is palindrome. So you, I will run on is palindrome function. Then this function is called. So there are multiple ways to check out whether a particular string is palindrome. Like one of the ways is that you just make a copy of that particular string and reverse that particular string. So if you have a string, you just reverse it. And if both the strings are same, then obviously it is a palindrome because now you can read it the same from left to right or right to left. Okay. And if the both the strings are same, then the answer is true. So this palindrome is palindrome function will return that whether a palindrome like whether a string you have passed is palindrome or not, it will just check that. And uh, yeah, that is the answer. So it will just return that. And if that particular string that you have passed after doing this operation is a palindrome, then answer is true as answer is false. So that is the overall logic and code part for this problem. And you can see that the time complexity is that we are doing a for loop over this string. So O of the length of the string, and then we're doing a palindrome as well. So reversing out is also O of N. So O of 2N and the overall time complexity is O of, o of N only. So that's the overall like solution and code part for this problem. Thank you for this video till the end. I will see you next one and keep coding and bye.